Wildfire near Big Bear has grown to 1,500 acres and evacuations are now underway. The fire burning near Barton Flats just south of Big Bear. Caltrans has now closed Highway 38 from Valley of the Falls to Hatchery Road. CBS 2's Joy Benedict is live at the Ranger Station with the very latest. Joy? Well, Sharon, just to give you an idea of how quickly this fire is moving, 12 hours ago, there were only 100 acre burns, acres burned. As of right now, we're dealing with 1,500 acres burned, and that number is expected to rise. Nonetheless, firefighters are doing everything they can to contain it. Thick smoke darkened the sky off Highway 38 in Angeles Oaks as flames flickered in the distance, reminding those in the area of what's being lost. I've hiked and camped all over this area, so it's it's sad to see a fire. Linda Armbrister drove up from Orange with a bird watching class, but closed roads kept them down the mountain. Just just the fact that the trees die and and everything, it'll it'll be generations of, of wildlife that'll be impacted. Also impacted are several campgrounds. Five were evacuated last night and one more this morning. We have about 80 kids total and then with staff we've got about 110 people. And DeMoss works at Camp Brown Meadow. They were evacuated today. It's scary. You know, these wind shifts, it could end up over here. More than 500 firefighters are working to keep the flames south of Highway 38 away from homes, but a few dozen houses were also evacuated as a precaution. We're laying down retardant to slow the fire down. The San Bernardino National Forest is full of tough terrain and dense trees, many of which were dead before the flames started. It makes it difficult for us to, you know, do a direct attack on the fire because of the the threat of the, of the trees coming down. Throw in hot temperatures, low humidity, and wind gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Not only is it supplying, you know, more oxygen to the fire, obviously, but it's pushing the fire. Pushing residents and visitors out of the forest while firefighters stay and do their best to save what they can. The bird watchers and hikers will, many people will be disappointed by this fire. And there's also a massive air attack that's planned for today. We're talking about three air attack planes. We've got four helicopters and 10 different air tankers that are all scheduled to be dropping water on these flames throughout the day. So certainly doing everything they can to keep this fire contained and put it out as quickly as possible. Reporting live near Mintone, Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.